All right, guys, free game Friday. There's Mobbler. Of course, Veridi is one of the new games. I'm going to say Veridi wins this race. I'm going to say Veridi, the new game, wins. I want Mobbler or I want um, maybe Enviro Golf. I like golf games. Golden Tee, amazing, legendary video game. How about uh, Castle Kong? I wouldn't mind playing Castle Kong either. In three. In two. In one. Oh, full screen? I just realized you guys aren't even watching the race. My bad, my bad. Oh, uh, hold on. There we go, there we go. My bad, my bad. Top tier streamer, yep. The booze has already hit me, Epic. I'm drunk. Shark Simulator in first. Chat's Choice 2 and Enviro Golf, and it's actually Chat's Choice 2. Chat's Choice 2, I don't know, getting passed by Enviro Golf. It's either going to be one of those two. But Chat's Choice did just get held up right there. The first Chat's Choice marbles off the track. This is all Enviro Golf right now, baby. Enviro Golf is your winner. Time to hit the links, everybody. We should be ready to go. Nope. I meant ready to go. Uh, Enviro Golf, an environmentally conscious, serene golf text game. Distance to hold 250 yards, hold only three holes. Choose your club. Well, obviously, you're going to go with a wood. We're, we're on the, the tee box. You're not going to bring a, a putter onto the tee box. Choose your power. No, I chose weak. <laughs> I chose weak. I didn't mean to. Oh, I fucked up, guys. Your ball bounces off a tree, startling a sleeping owl. <laughs> what? <laughs> it will lose precious rest that it needs for hunting and ultimately for living. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no. Okay, there we are. We have 180 yards to the distance. God, we, how the fuck did we only hit it? What, 70 yards? We're going to go with an iron, but we got to give a strong shot this time. Nice and strong. Strong like bull. Oh, shit. You notice how the golf course is unnaturally quiet. It's because the local forest animals have been displaced by human activity. No! <laughs> so many... There's a lot of, like, uh, a political statement games on Free Game Friday. This seems to be one of them. All right, we are on the green. We're going to break out our putter. And we're going to give it a nice medium putt. We're not... We're kind of far away. No, no, putter. Putter. Putt. Putter, I said, not... You don't, you don't swing back and do a full swing. I mean, that's, I mean, respect that you were able to get it into the hole, I think. But as you walk across the course, your shoes compact dangerous fertilizer into the ground. It will poison the animals. Yay! <laughs> Distance the hole 450 yards. We're going to use, a, once again, a wood. But we're going strong this time. We went weak off the tee last time. Strong off the tee this time. Oh, yeah. Hell of a swing. Hell of a swing. Where's Jim Nance? Hello, friends. You can't seem to find your golf ball. You absentmindedly withdraw a new one from your bag while a forest snakes... While for, a forest snake chokes on the missing one. Aw, for a snake, no, no. Don't choke on that golf ball. That's for golfing, it's not for eating, snake. Snake. Snake? Snake! Wait, we're in the... Dude, aim your shot. This makes me think he just aimed for the trap. Oh boy, we gotta pull out a wedge now. Sand wedge, we gotta give it strong. We are far away from the hole. Strong with the sand wedge. Also, do we lose a uh, stroke for dropping a new golf ball? A chief emerges from the fo- Oh, don't tell me he's gonna, he's gonna cry a single tear. It's gonna be so sad if he gives that single tear from, from the ad. 
<laughs> guys, we, we can't have this. Guys, this is what happens when you go golfing. When you go golfing, you contribute to trash in the river. You're doing this. You. In this Native American, all he wants Some to do people is... have a deep, abiding respect for the natural beauty that was once this country. Yeah, Native Americans. And some people don't. Every time you go golfing, this is what you do post. I just want to let you know. Disc golf included. Disc golf included. You think, you think those forests were meant for disc golf? No, they were meant for animals. Not your fucking frisbees getting thrown all over the place. People start pollution. People can stop it. This is what golfing causes. Golfing causes the single tear right here. These were once sacred hunting grounds. Where your ball has landed, he shakes his head solemnly. Our ball didn't even move? As you play your game of golf, you don't know that all the money spent on golf could bring several endangered bird species back. <laughs> this is literally just guilt simulator. While you're golfing, an owl lost its wings. Asshole. All right, you know what? We're just going to use our wood, and we're going to give it strong, because apparently a, a sand wedge isn't working. The grass on the course barely grazes your shoes. The abusive maintenance of this course kills more animals than humans use it. You're abusing. You're abusing. These animals. Uh, we're going to use our wedge now. We're going to give it some light, light, weak strength on it. Because we're right next to the green. We just want to perch it right next to the hole. And something tells me, oh no, your ball flies into the forest. While you give up searching for it, it plugs a snake den. Trapping the snake inside. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> Not like this. All right, fine. Iron weak. Weak iron. Let's make it happen, buddy. What forest animal did we kill now? Oh, no, we're back to the Native American. We're back to the Native American. The methods and materials used to create golf gear pollutes the environment, especially the non-biodegradable golf balls. Oh, no! Our ball has not moved in, like, five shots. What am I supposed to do? A strong wedge? Strong wedge. Only 52.25 yards to go. Oh, but then again, countless owls and other birds died in the process of deforesting to create this golf course. But did my ball go in? All right, we're on the green. We're going to use our putter. I'm going to do a medium putt. I think we're close. 27 yards, it's a medium putt. Again, again, whoever whoever made this game, you don't you don't swing a putt. I apologize, everybody. I'm trying to just play this golf game, but apparently many squirrels misinterpret golf balls as nuts and freeze to death during winter. No, you lose. Uh, Good day, sir. Oh, uh, no, squirrels. No, no squirrels. Oh, you absolutely suck. <laughs> no, that's not nice. That's that's not nice squirrels. This is number one bullshit. Number one bullshit. Don't th those are golf balls, not nuts. God damn it, we didn't get the ball in the hole. Um, all right, we're gonna go back to our putter again. Full strength putter. This time we're going with a strong shot. In the hole. In the hole. Along with highways, factories, and cities. Golf courses are scars on the earth, sapping and poisoning life. I'm sure this is going to go in the water and like kill a thousand fish, but let's try. Um, wood strong, strong shot off the tee box. It's in the snake's mouth or something. Yeah, poor snakes, poor snakes. Yeah, good. Fuck snakes. <laughs> Maybe. Wait a second, guys. Hot take, maybe golf has saved the human race. Snakes, venomous, bite humans, kill humans. 
What if golf has killed enough snakes to keep them at bay, keep the population of snakes alive, but also keep them from spreading like crazy and repopulating? Therefore, golf saves humans. While you may choose to play golf as a recreation, your country club gave its former inhabitants no choice when evicting them. Sad. Sad, guys. If you don't know, whenever a country club wants to be built, they uh, move into people's lands without having any permission, and they build the country club. And if somebody's like, hey, this is my land, this is where my home is, the country club goes, fuck off, buddy, and they build it anyway. Here we are in the water, using a wedge to get out of the water. Your golf ball strikes an owl on the head, but did it ricochet off the owl's head? I mean, owls have a nice round skull that I think it would hit off the owl's head and maybe back into the fairway. That's the important thing. Is it back in the fairway? Um, iron. We're going to do a nice little medium shot with this iron. I wonder if it's because I did strong shot. Right in the middle of the fairway, right off that owl's noggin. A squirrel, noxious from the toxins used on this course, collapses near your golf ball you don't notice so literally a squirrel is just like <laughs> golf was invented by the devil himself generations of deer used to frolic and live here now they cower behind trees L their lives dictated by a human game I hate being human right now. Playing this game, I don't want to be human. Come on, 120 to go. Of course. Like, can we just have a normal golf shot without pissing off the forest? I understand I'm pissing off the forest, but like, how about just one shot and then like, a snake doesn't die. Pest control easily eliminated all the colorful snakes in the area to make it more peaceful. But who's the real pest here? That's right, it's you, golfers of America, Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson. I'm looking at you, Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicklaus. You're ruining the environment. You're the true pests here. Not some poor baby snake with a little bit of venom in its body. No, no, no. It's you, Ricky Fowler. It's you, Brooks Kepka. You're the pest. You're poisoning the environment. All your fault. Uh, we're going to do a nice little weak wedge shot. Just a nice little weak wedge shot. We're a little past the, the hole. A little past the hole. I don't know who's clapping, but people are people are clapping for our, our uh, killing the environment. <laughs> Meadows are now sand traps. Rivers are walkways. Fields are green. I mean, aren't fields supposed to be green? Wait a second, guys. I understand meadows not supposed to be sand traps, right? Rivers, not supposed to be walkways, but rivers are sort of walkways for fish, right? Rivers are sort of like a, a fish's sidewalk. Um, but fields are green. Oh, fields are greens. Oh, oh, fields are greens. Uh, mm, okay. Uh, nice kid, but a little dumb. Fields are greens. That fields are green. Rivers are walkways for fish. They are. Rivers are basically a salmon sidewalk. Swimways. All right, we're now two hundred yards away from the hole. We're gonna use a strong iron shot. Strong iron shot. All of the remaining squirrels are small. The big ones fell victim to the wheels of careless. <laughs> Can I play that game? Can we play the run squirrels over with golf carts game? It seems like, look, I, I don't I don't suggest it in real life, but for a video game, it seems like a fun game. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto. I'm not going to be out here robbing people and killing people willy-nilly, but when it comes to video games, I mean, I'm definitely going to have to try it out. Same with Guffus. I'm not going to run over a poor baby innocent squirrel. But if you gave me a video game where I'm driving a golf cart and we have to purposely try to run over them, I might check it out. Add it on a free game Friday. The deer are not timid. 
they are just afraid of you and your recreational death sport. I think the PGA needs to start labeling golf as death sport. If PGA is like, look, it's no longer golf, it's a recreational death sport, they're going to get ratings, okay? They're going to get those XFL ratings. Oh my god, how close are we? We're five yards away. All right, the short putt. The weak boy putt. Weak putt. To sink it and win the Masters. To win the Masters. While also killing multiple, multiple forest animals. Snakes used to live here, or used to live full lives here. Dying peacefully and happy. Now they die brutally at the hands of civilized humans. Envirogoth.